because you've got one on the server. You package it up, you put it in, in, in uh, you create templates, you put it in uh, a, a, a marketplace, if you will, internally, and now when you deploy your virtual machine, you can point and click and say, you know, this virtual machine, I need three front end device, uh, processing, I need uh, these applications, and you just drag and drop and you close the farm, for example. Okay? So this is, App Control allows for that. So App Control allows you through Virtual Machine Manager's capability to deploy an application dynamically at the, um, at the private cloud level all the way up to Azure, okay? So when you look at, here are my cloud, right? So I can look at the cloud platforms and see here's the different uh, 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 cloud platforms that are set up for me. Here are the virtual machines that are running, right? So this is System Center, right? So this is Rod Controller. Here are all the deployed services that are running. And now I can select which ones I want to do. So in this case, I want to increase my capability around my expense management application. Okay. That's what it looks like. So service manager has a database tier and a services tier and obviously the network. So I want to be able to update that. So I'm going to create a new deployment. I'm going to configure it. I'm going to select where I want the, the deployment to be. Okay. Tells me the virtual machine. And here's the quotas, right? So we, we set up no quotas. But you could create quotas. You could say, hey, you know what? You only have two or three virtual machines that you could, you could deploy, right? We didn't put a limit on that and memory and so forth. So you could actually build these templates for your, for whether the internal people or people within the business to put a fence around it to say, you look, you have already five, you know, you allow 10, you've already deployed five, so you have five left. By the way, each one of these virtual machines could be, you only get one gig, two gig, whatever memory, you get two processors, what have you. That's all this is. Okay. And then you pick a template. Because this is what IT does, it gives you templates. And then, again, you, you select it and you go from there. Okay. And then you configure, you can configure the virtual machine. happens is the virtual machine deployment has started. So I think about bringing that capability. Now you may have one or two folks that are really good on virtualization, but you want to be able to give these tools others. You build these templates, you build these applications out through the system center console, all GUI based, you give those to, and put the fence around it, around security, they can be able to deploy whatever they need without and so taking that knowledge and putting it in a system where everybody can then scale out and leverage the system appropriately. Okay. So that's the, that's the uh, you know, then of course you see the virtual machine that will be spinning up. Okay. Um, let me just go back, we're finishing up the presentation here. So when you look at the the modern app, this is the demo. Uh, we talked about unlocking insights into your data. Again, leveraging SQL, we have SQL Azure in the cloud. So if you want to move your SQL in, uh, in infrastructure to the cloud, we have SQL Azure. Obviously, then you can use things like Excel as we saw this morning. 
against that to create the, the dashboard. And of course, management of a people-centric crisis, managing the devices. We talked about this. The one area that I want to focus on for two minutes, two seconds is Windows Into. Windows Into is our cloud management platform for devices. We support Microsoft devices, iOS devices, Symbian, and Android devices. Okay? We can do multiple things against those devices. Think of it as System Center in the cloud to manage your clients. Okay? You can do inventory, you can do patching, you can do software distribution to it, and then, of course, you can make sure they're compliant. You can run any virus and remote control to those to the devices and so forth. And with System Center 2012 XP1 and the next version of Intune, which is coming out uh, at the end of the year, if you want to use our one console, the Intune service will integrate into the XPCM console. So again, you'll have that one pane of glass to manage your internal as well as your external devices. So really that's about it. I've run out of time. Um, I'll be around for a little bit after this. Any last remaining questions? Well, thanks a lot everyone for coming, and you know, definitely please fill out the, the evals and let us know if we can get further help. Great, thank you. Sam. All righty, we're just taking a quick minute uh, then to wrap up uh, for the day today. So, again, I want to just say thanks to all the speakers and the event staff today for helping us out, um, and really a big thanks to our partners as well uh, today who joined us. So, if you haven't got a chance to go out and speak with them yet. And They'll be around a little bit after the event today and we'll uh, have a chat with them. Um, also want to make sure we go into our raffle. So did everybody get their tickets into the, uh, the Red Bowl or any left? Let them bring them up. And hopefully also you got the tag. So 